could read my mind, love, what a tale my thoughts could tell. Just like an old time movie about a ghost from a wishing well in a castle dark or a fortress strong with chains upon my feet. You know that ghost is me, and I. I could read your mind, love. What a tale your thoughts could tell. Stay with the car. Just like a paperback novel, the kind the drugstore sells. When you reach the part where the heartaches come, the hero. There are places back here that have never borne a human footprint. Fifty-three thousand acres of virgin wilderness all but one owned by the bureau of land management one acre a jewel a single buildable acre like a flawless diamond set in a sea of emeralds real estate equivalent to a unicorn acquired it some years ago from a family who had held it in trust for over a century and a half. Beautiful. Yes. You understand, Kate, that I... I have no choice. Isn't that the speech, Raymond? That I know too much? Every single one of your weaknesses, all your faults, all your secrets. I dedicated my life to you. You entrusted me with everything you value. Your freedom, your life, a child. I have never failed you. What you see as a betrayal of trust was actually a fulfillment of your wishes to protect your interests. No more, no less. You presume to decide what was best for me. Even if I resolve the anger, the pain you cause, I can't trust you. Ever. I'm standing before a stranger. And yet I know you believe what you did was best for Elizabeth, which is why I brought you here. You've told me you've always wanted a pristine, unspoiled place to live out your days in peace. So the acre is yours. For all eternity. Strong with chains upon my feet. 